with thousands of servers to play on DayZ, it can be hard finding a server that's worth your time. In this video, I'll be saving you hundreds of hours testing bad servers and giving you clarity on which servers will be scratching the itch you're specifically looking for. To be clear, these servers will be recommended based on my personal experiences as I didn't run a poll to recommend any of these servers. So we're going to be diving into the PvP side of the servers. PvP breaks down into two different styles. One is a faction base building and raiding server. Then there's deathmatch servers. The value add from each style is different and we'll go over the qualities in this video. In no particular order, this is the server list worth your time. Starting with number three, Cryptic. Cryptic has three different servers fit for different size squads. Some of the pros that we can go with with Cryptic there's a ton more guns and the server is driven by PvP and raiding. However, the community is really friendly, at least inside of traders from my experience. Uh, I was able to have some pretty open dialogue and good conversations with someone who was in the top 15 in kills in the entire server. Now, the server population kind of varies between medium and high depending on when the wipe is. So you, But I haven't seen it get full where I had to be queued for an hour. Something that could be a pro and a con is the admins don't allow and the rules don't allow for alliances between guilds which i found is a bummer whenever i made friends with one of the top players on the server and i wanted to form an alliance but it's not allowed and so that was kind of a bummer as i was as i was playing on the server so i found it to be a con but i know some people would find that as a pro so they, you're not gonna have two or three squads dominating the entire server they also were quick to add winter into the game and so they updated it mid wipe they added winter uh, during the winter season, which I thought was was pretty nice. Some of the cons I'd have to give Cryptic, it's prone to bugs. I've experienced weapon bugs. I've experienced game crashing with only once, but I've experienced game crashing. Also, some of the mods, for some reason, don't update in my Daisy launcher, which I might be the only one experiencing that, but this is the first server I'm experiencing that on. So I don't know if it's just a server or if it's me. just want to give you a heads up on that. And lastly, the updates are sporadic and in, in everywhere with the server like there's not a set schedule you know monday tuesday and wednesday they're going to update the server it's just whenever they feel like updating it they're just going to update it and uh, i haven't seen any updates on the discord and they just throw these updates out now i could be i could be wrong there now i'm not actively looking at this discord and so maybe they've announced the uh, the announcements and maybe it's my fault uh, but it just feels like the updates are sporadic and just kind of want to give you a heads up on that before you jump into the server outside of that i've found this server to be really rewarding when it comes to base building and finding and meeting other players this server has not let me down moving on to number two is v plus plus specializes in the deathmatch servers this is going to be opening up the whole other section of pvp the deathmatch side similar to team deathmatch or free for all it more like free for all in call of duty here's some things that the deathmatch servers can offer you i personally recommend investing equal amount of hours if not a little more hours into the deathmatch servers so that whenever you come into a pvp situation in the faction servers you can hold your own and your teammates can rely on you here's some of the pros the v plus plus servers offer it's deathmatch mania and there's a level up system because it's deathmatch mania you'll constantly be in chaos which will be consistently changing your environment which forces you to adapt into different environments similar to whenever you're fighting in the open in faction servers. The focus would be on sharpening your PvP skills, which like I just mentioned earlier is the reason why I suggest that you invest equal amount, if not a little more into deathmatch servers. Going back on the second point, you're going to be learning how to fight in different situations in different environments. There's going to be buildings that you're going to be spawning next to and you're going to be in open area. Sometimes you spawn with a sniper, sometimes you'll spawn with a shotgun, sometimes you'll spa spawn with an M4, sometimes you'll spawn with a handgun with a scope on it. It'll all be situational, but it's similar to what you'll be spawned with and get lucky to spawn next to on the shore. It also has a leaderboard so you can compare yourself to how you're performing compared to the lobby. Similar to free for all and Call of Duty games, you have the option to compare yourself and actually see yourself rated against other players' performance. The biggest con I would say, given with these servers, I've never experienced lag and I've never experienced having a hard time getting in. What I have experienced in, in my personal opinion, you're not able to focus on getting better at one gun. Because when you spawn, it's entirely random, the gun you're given. So if you want to focus on learning how to shoot a specific weapon, it won't be effective in this server. And lastly, number one, rearmed. Now I'm going to be honest, this server is number one on this list because it's my favorite. I know that earlier I said that these aren't in any particular order, forgive me of my sins, but I'm not, I use that just because I don't think that any of these that are my favorite 
are going to be your favorite. And so I said in no particular order, but I think that they're all worth your time. However, Rearmed is my favorite out of this list. And I can tell you why, but it also has cons. If you're familiar with the server, you might know the cons. And there might be some pros in here that you may not be aware of. So stick around. Rearmed is an extremely popular faction server. It has many different servers for the US and the UK for different squads alike. There's different maps to play on and it even rotates seasons. The wipe is every month and they have an extremely active discord. The admins are active and constantly updating their server, which may or may not be a con. Now, for anyone who is familiar with Rearmed, you may or may not know that there's a training grounds deathmatch server for rearmed vanilla plus rearmed weapons. You can go into training grounds and deathmatch servers specifically for the rearmed weapons and train. I will say there's multiple cons to this server, so stick around for the cons because I love this server, but there are some super heavy downfalls that has pushed me away from investing more time into the server. However, they have a fantastic Discord and they have a fantastic community and admins. Towards the end of the wipe, from my experience, there was this all out brawl. It looked, it felt, and seemed like there was war going on between the biggest factions. And I found a lot of fun inside of that experience, just inside of the Rearm main server. There's multiple other servers where there's solos, duos, and trios, which is another one that I've played on. But I haven't had as extreme experience so far as I did whenever I played Rearmed Main. So lastly, let me jump into the cons here with this server. The server is always full. If you're not playing on a Tuesday in the morning or in the middle of the day, the server is gonna be full and you're gonna have a wait. If the wait is any longer than 20 or 30 people, you will be waiting an hour or longer before you can jump into the server or play. So if you've already invested time into the server and you've built a base and you're worried about your stuff getting raided, but you're sitting in line behind 20 or 30 people to get in, I promise you, you're gonna be sitting there for an hour to an hour and a half. And that's a hefty pill to swallow. And it can be painful when you're sitting there in front of your computer on Discord talking to your friends waiting to get in. I will I will not lie. I know that sound I know that sounded extremely detailed, but it is a painful experience that I'm trying to warn you guys before you get yourself into. However, you can get around that by simply paying if that's something that you want to do. I didn't because I'm not I'm not one to just immediately pay. And so obviously I wanted to experience the server if if it's something that I see myself investing into, then I definitely will. But I definitely don't see that being worth investing as of now since I have plenty of other servers that I want to test. But if you fall in love with the server and you find a great faction and you want to invest into it, that'll take away the con for you because there is priority queue and you can pay for that. Now, the second thing that is a pain in the butt is the server updates daily. And so you will constantly have to check your mods in the DayZ launcher, check your mods and update them. And sometimes you update them and you repair them and you exit and you come back and then it says you still have to update and you may have to go through that cycle two or three times. I know I have, and you know, I might be the only one experiencing this, who knows, but it's something painful that I've dealt with. And so I just wanna give you guys a heads up there. I hope you found value out of this video. This channel offers valuable information on the games I cover and storytelling slash entertainment across all game survival. I'm looking to hit my first 500 subscribers, so consider subscribing if that matches what you'd like to see from a content creator. If you want the most essential tips to survive in DayZ, click the video on screen.